afternoon, Christian. It's nice to meet you again. Uh, could you just tell us where we are? Yep. Hi, James. Good to see you again, too. We are um, in the events room at Home MCR, Home Manchester, uh, in the centre of town, because this is where I host and um, put on my Actors and Filmmakers networking events. Um, this one will be the 26th that I've hosted, and they have grown unbelievably in popularity. I'm so proud of them. Now, you actually run the Marble Academy, but what is it you're hoping to get from today's event? What I personally am aiming to get out of this is to make sure that everybody enjoys themselves, everybody, you know, gets introduced, mingles, meets other people, because that's why I organise and put them on. Not for me, but for people in this industry to meet and make important contacts, because we get all all different professionals in here, industry professionals, from actors to producers, directors, even music people. And the aim of them is so that those people can make contacts. Nothing to do with me, thing. For my benefit though, if I was to get anything out of it, I would say, obviously, hopefully new students. But yeah, just mingle, enjoy, have a good time, meet and introduce yourself to um, industry professionals and, what I always tell people, this isn't a jobs fair. Nobody's going to, you know, you can't go up to somebody and say, give me a job, give me a job. That's not how it works. How it works is, oh, you're a producer. Oh, you're a director. Oh, great. Well, I'm an actor. If, if, you know, if anything comes up, I'd be really interested in uh, this is my contact details and whatnot thing. Move on to somebody else or carry on chatting to them. Um, go around, meet different people, meet different, you know, oh, what do you do? In the, oh, right, OK, well, here's my number if you're doing anything or, you know, like... You know, that's what it's for. That's what I put them on for. That's great. And how often do you do this throughout the year? Um, I usually do them once every four months. So about three times a year, but yeah. That's great. Oh, well, I look forward to meeting you later in the year then. Yeah. Um, I'm northwest based. I, I have a theatre company called uh, Precarious Theatre, which is both based in Manchester and London. We've got two people in London and two of us set up in northwest. Uh, I am a freelance prop maker slash puppeteer and puppet builder. Um, I am an actor uh, and also a filmmaker. I work with Fallon and we have a, I guess, a filmmaking collective called North Star Productions. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a musician, I'm a drummer, composer. Uh, I make music for films, uh, I also do a bit of acting, all the creative things. Well, I am a writer and a director, I do a bit of acting. Uh, I'm an actor, uh, I started acting as an adult in 2017, uh, I'm also a writer as well. We've just finished a short film which is currently circulating film festivals. We finished another one which we wrapped on yesterday, that's currently going into post-production. Um, we're just about to finish writing a new short film and then that should hopefully be going into production in the third quarter this year and then once that's finished we've got a feature film which is like our baby and hopefully these three short films we've done previously will build a little bit of attention should, should we call it which allows us to go out there and find some finances from the right people so yeah, so we've got quite a lot going on. It's just busy, busy. No, no, no. Um, I've been to two of Christians now. We do a lot of networking, but I think it's my second of Christians I've been to. And I went to one of his um, student showcases as well. Well, I've been to similar things in the past, but in terms of this, just purely coming together to meet new people um, at home theatre, yes, this is the first one I've gone to. No, so I've been to this event, I, I, well, gosh, I think I've been to everyone that's been running for the last 18 months, at, at least. There might have been one that I missed. We network quite a lot um, to build our own contacts as well and create other opportunities. But uh, whenever I'm available, I'll come down here because, as you, I mean, you can see, you can hear from the background. It's well supported, it's well attended. The good thing is it's not just always the same old faces. Sometimes you can go to networking groups and, and after a while you can know half the people there. So it can kind of, it can become a little bit law of diminishing returns. But with here, there's always new people come in. We've met a really great director, funnily enough, who was worked on music videos, wants to get in more into short films. So already we're thinking they might be a match for the Angels and Demons project. Yes, first I've come to any sort of networking event. Um, I haven't done any sort of acting for a while. 
So this is a, a fact finding, you know, I suppose it's used in industry, make you realise, do the leg work, do the background, get out there. So that's what I'm here to do. Well, one of the biggest things that I found find is um, that the industry can be quite isolating and you kind of lack community very often. So what I've just come here for basically is just to meet new people, um, make some connections and hopefully find some people that I can produce some art with. The reason that we're here is to connect with other creatives, filmmakers, actors, and really to meet people, share ideas, discuss opportunities, uh, and find people that we can collaborate and cooperate with uh, to make some great shorts this year. Again, and those will be stepping stones towards doing our own feature films at the end of the year. I've come to this event today to hopefully meet some filmmakers who will see the vision that I have for my poem and my short film to make it happen. Well, today I came to this network because I wanted to meet other actors and directors and casting directors. I wanted to put myself out there because I'm looking for opportunities and connecting with other people to share my journey with them. So I think this is a great event for people who want to grow in the industry and that's my main reason to come here. Um, so I'm finishing my third year and so I won't be a student anymore, I very much will soon be out there auditioning all the time and looking for representation. And But also I think it's good to build connections, not just for the sake of getting a job, but to also know that you have that community or you all have that love for like creating something and it's not all about the money, it's about your love for the work. Yeah, uh, I've come today to try and, well, network with as many people as possible this industry is quite difficult to find the right people to work with. Building your team and finding like-minded people like there is in here today is, well, this is just the perfect opportunity to find them. And the reason I come here today is to showcase my artwork and to uh, promote my services and hopefully to uh, network with like-minded creative individuals. There's always a good bunch of people. Christian puts on a great show. Everyone's lovely. Yes, I would. I would fully recommend uh, coming to this event. Uh, it's very informal. You always get a lot out of it. And uh, and to be honest, it's just a great way of meeting people. Yeah, I'd 100% recommend it. I, I mean, I guess really for all the reasons that I mentioned is that number one, you can come by yourself. It's really welcoming, right? As soon as you come through the door, like I'm here pretty regularly. I always say hello to people. If, you see, if I see someone by themselves, I'll go and bring them in and involve them in the conversation. So like, just definitely don't be worried about being on your own. Uh, maybe just think about what, what would you like when you come? So what opportunities are you looking for? What types of people would you like to meet? Uh, but I'd highly recommend it. It's well supported, well attended. Very very friendly and we've, we've made a lot of great contacts from being here. From what I've seen so far, it's, it's amazing and trying to get projects off the ground, you need to come to events like this and work with like-minded people. So yeah, I would, anybody who's listening to this, I would definitely recommend coming to this networking event or any networking event because they truly do help you out and it does allow you to build a team and work with like-minded people and that's what helps projects get off the ground. Yeah, yeah, I certainly would. Yeah, yeah, I've already met quite a few interesting people and things and even seen some people I haven't seen in ages. So uh, yeah, I definitely would recommend it. If you go on www.carriestheatre.co.uk, you'll find um, news about our future projects. We've got a big one coming up uh, this year at 532 and in London. So yeah, just look up, look up that and you'll find out more about what I do with my theatre company. My social media is uh, JMP Puppets and Props on Instagram and my website is www.jmpuppets.com. Yeah, so I'm on social media on Instagram. Uh, that's what I mainly use, uh, Rory Squitiri and uh, Cartwright Higgins Management. You can find me on there. Uh, probably the best way to get hold of us is, is I would have thought, on Instagram. So uh, Fallon is under F West Films. Uh, you can find her on Instagram. My personal Instagram is Paul Preston TV. Um, so if you've seen this, you've seen these videos, you want to connect with us, great, please do. But also reach out, send a message, say hi. Just let us know who you are, what you're doing, how we might be able to help you, what ideas you've got. And then generally the next step is we'll jump on a call or we'll meet up for a coffee and take it from there. Social media platforms, I'm on Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube, I'm also on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram, it is K Parks Official One. I repeat, K Parks Official One on Instagram. Um, 
my Instagram is at abby.studley and my spotlight link will also be in my bio if you want to check that out. My email is abbystudley at outlook.co.uk if you also want to email me. Yeah, I mainly use Instagram, so I have a personal account and a account for our media company. My personal account is at Gavna P and my media company is Etos Films.